Defining and Designing Ex Libris Approach The first steps in the service co-creation is the definition and design of the new service. Lego Serious Play methodology is used to help with service definition and design. Participants are encouraged to provide preliminary information about their service idea by creating a model by Lego Bricks. Defining and designing the service phase of Exlibris approach starts with some warm-up exercises. These exercises help participants to get acquainted with Lego Bricks and the methodology, helps facilitators to share the philosophy behind using Bricks to create stories, understanding the metaphors, clarify the expectations from participants and model building exercises. Different exercises can be used for warm-up purpose. Main idea here is to build something and assign a description and or metaphor. These are simple and short exercises before the actual study starts. Duration should be indicated clearly before the exercise starts. Some of these exercises are also useful for team building. Following exercises can be used for warm-up. Building a duck. Building a tower. Building a model of yourself. Building a model of your choice. Building a duck exercise. Participants are given exactly the same six pieces of Lego bricks. They are asked to build a duck by using all pieces. They are given no more than two, three minutes. They work individually. They are asked to explain how it is a duck. Ducks are displayed to show the differences. This is a good exercise to use in team building to display differences in individual perspectives. Building a tower exercise can be done either individually or in teams. Participants are asked to build the highest tower they can in five minutes. They are asked to explain their towers. Pointing out differences among the towers and explaining that there is no right or wrong way of building it helps encouraging creativity. Building a self-model exercise. Participants are asked to build a model of themselves in five minutes. Each participant talks about his her model. When they talk about the model, they provide valuable information about themselves, which is not mentioned in a traditional way of interaction. The facilitator asks questions to better understand the meanings of different parts of the models. This is a good exercise to use in team building. Building a model of your choice exercise. Participants are asked to build a model of their choice without any specification. After the models are constructed, participants are asked to pick a card among pre-prepared cards. Each has an arbitrarily chosen single word written on it such as book, kettle, apple, cinema. Participants are expected to make a connection between the word and their model and explain how their model could be connected to the word written on the card they have picked. This exercise helps developing the utilization of metaphor skill. After completing the warm-up exercises, facilitators can move towards the main task. Depending on group dynamics, more than one warm-up exercise can be used. It all depends on the time available and interest of the group. Main task here is defining and co-designing new library services. Defining and designing library services. Here, one relatively more general and one more specific exercise are suggested. First exercise is about building a model of a library, which allows participants to build and talk about the library concept in their mind. Second exercise is about building a model of a library service they desire but does not exist today. It is always possible to be more specific at the second level. Facilitators can focus on a specific type of service. Defining and designing services by individual models. Course steps in LEGO Serious Play methodology are applied in defining and designing the library service through individual models. The challenge. 
facilitator poses the question about the service. Building a model individually. Each participant builds his/her individual model by using his/her metaphors. Telling the story. Participants explain the meaning of their model and its components. Reflections. Facilitator asks questions to better understand the meanings of different parts of the model and makes reflections. Service co-design by shared models. For creating shared models, participants work in teams. Similar ideas, services are chosen by the facilitator, and teams are composed based on the service idea in their individual model. Participants are asked to bring their models together and make a shared model by taking one aspect, preferably the most important one, from each model. Everybody should agree on all the parts of the shared model. Everybody on the team explains the shared model. Facilitator asks questions to better understand the meanings of the different parts of the model and makes reflections. Followings are some examples used to challenge participants with an exlibris project. Build a model of your dream library. Build a model of your vision for your library in five years' time. Build a model of libraries in the future. Build a model of what you like to change in your library. Build a model of a library service you need. Build a model of a service which is not provided by your library today. Build a model of a user training service you desire. Build a model of a smart service, a service delivered by using smart technologies. Build a model of a service delivered by social media tools. Build a model which shows the barriers which prevent success. Tips for using Lego Serious Play for service co-design. Always start with warm-up activities. Prepare open-ended challenges, questions very carefully in advance. Always let participants to work individually first and in teams later on. Apply team-building principles to construct better teams. Get the group's dialogue to serve its purpose. Make the reflections and dialogue process easy. Help participants express themselves. Ask clarifying questions. If you like to work with library users, choose the ones who are familiar with the existing services and facilities. Otherwise, they might end up describing what you already have. Avoid using professional jargon when working with users. They might not be familiar with it. Work with users with different profiles. Work with librarians from different services and, if possible, from different libraries. Work with users first and librarians later on the ideas introduced by users.